breaking news here at campus to canton.com guys it's early signing day here we're coming to you with all of the action here today all of the top country we want to tell you guys who they are uh, what their situation is going to look like where you should be taking them in your c2c drafts all of that good stuff so if you want to get all of that news here today go ahead subscribe here to the channel campus to canton uh, turn those notifications on. We are going to be releasing all sorts of videos here today, breaking all of these guys down. Here I am going to talk to you a little bit about Devin Brown, quarterback headed to Ohio State, officially signed on that line today. A little bit about Devin Brown. Uh, he was originally committed to USC, uh, then decommitted, uh, opened up his recruitment again. Uh, and ended up choosing Ohio State over a couple of other schools. He is 6'3", about 190 pounds, played his high school football at Corner Canyon, which is in Utah. If you, if that name maybe sounds familiar to you, that's probably because Zach Wilson played quarterback there. And then after Zach Wilson left, Jackson Dart played quarterback there. So they've had a really good track record with developing quarterbacks lately. Devin Brown is the latest in that line, and I think he is every bit as good as his two predecessors and has every bit of the chance, uh, assuming that he gets on the field here at some point, uh, to make it to the NFL like Zach Wilson has done and like it maybe looks that Jackson Dart will there uh, picking up that starting job uh, at USC. Some Just in some information really quick about what his ranking is right now, guys. He is a quarterback six overall in the 24-7 sports composite, 24-7 has him as their quarterback five, ESPN quarterback four on three, has him at quarterback two, and Rivals has him at four as well. I don't exactly know how the math works there, uh, that he's uh, five, four, two, four, and he ends up sixth overall in the composite, but uh, smarter people than I have put all of that together, so I will not question it. Regardless, a top five quarterback across the board there for all of the major recruiting services, so should certainly be on your radar here. Uh, moving into draft season. So just a little bit about his game, guys, what you can expect to see from him uh, when he gets on the field. He has a really nice arm. I'm not going to call it a cannon or anything like that. He's certainly not in the same stratosphere as some other quarterbacks in this class, like Malik Murphy going to Texas uh, or or like Gunnar Stockton there, both guys uh, that, that can really just throw, you know, 65, 70 yards uh, in the air. I don't know quite uh, that Devin Brown is on that level, but is a very good arm. He can make throws to all levels uh, and generally makes that look pretty effortless. So he ticks that box for sure. He is a very accurate deep thrower, guys, which I think is a very telling skill coming out of high school. Um, uh, that's something that I think is, you know, kind of hard to learn. Uh, and he looks to be very good at that. He can really kind of get that high arc on the ball that you like, drop it in uh, to his receivers. He's mobile enough. He is not a rushing threat, guys. So if we're talking about maybe fantasy upside someday, he's not Lamar Jackson. Um, he, he's not that level of a runner, but he is certainly mobile enough on the Joe Burrow scale, on the Patrick Mahomes scale, a guy that can run for a couple hundred yards maybe in the NFL, uh, certainly maneuvers the pocket at, at a decent level, but is never going to be rushing for you know, 800, 900 plus yards uh, in college or in the NFL. So just account for that. Uh, uh, when you're kind of drafting him there. Um, he shows some pretty nice skill when it comes to run, throwing on the move as well. He gets those feet set very quickly, gets those shoulders square, has a very quick release. Um, I think all of those things are going to really help him at the next level. Uh, obviously, you don't really like to have to mess with a quarterback's uh, release or throwing motion or anything like that, and I, I certainly don't think you'll have to do that with him. Uh, he looks, again, to tick that box. Very nice ball placement. I don't question his accuracy uh, really at all. I mean, obviously, that's something that, that he'll continue to grow and work on. Um, but he's not an erratic passer. He looks uh, a pretty natural throw in the ball there. Situationally, though, I think there are some legitimate questions to ask about Devin Brown and about the Ohio State quarter room, uh, quarterback room as a whole. So they do return their starter from last year, CJ Stroud. Last year was his second year uh, in college, so he can leave after the 2022 season. If he has another nice year, I would be willing to wager that he probably does. 
was in contention for the Heisman this year, obviously had a huge statistical season, uh, beat out a couple of other very talented quarterbacks there on the roster and drove them actually to transfer. Quinn Ewers, obviously everybody knows that name, uh, has left and is still determining where he's going to be landing. Uh, Jack Miller as well has gone. Kyle McCord is still there, was a true freshman last year, so will be in his second year at Ohio State. If Stroud leaves after his junior year, as we all think that, that that he probably will do, that opens the door for Devin Brown. So that could be a sit one year, take over as a second year type scenario. I think that's a really nice scenario for a lot of quarterbacks nowadays. Oklahoma did that consistently there with Lincoln Riley. Basically, he would recruit on the schedule to have his guys doing that. Um uh, Clemson has done the exact same thing there generally under Dabo Swinney. Top recruit comes in, sits for a year, learns, takes the job. If McCord transfers out uh, or, or something else were to happen and Devin Brown gets that job as a year two guy, I think you have to love that for his development with Ryan Day there, uh, who has earned a little bit of a reputation as a quarterback developer and a quarterback whisperer. He will have all the weapons he could ever want there. Uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba will probably be gone, but he'll have Marvin Harrison. You'll have a Mecca Buka. Uh, they bring in a very talented wide receiver group this year. We'll probably be touching on some of those guys here uh, with some of these videos today. Of course, Travion Henderson in the backfield uh, and plenty of other backs there potentially as well. Evan Pryor still there. Dallin Hayden uh, potentially coming in this year. So just, you know, Ohio State always has talent. Uh, they always, at least in recent history here, have had a very strong offense. And so those things... Um, should really benefit Devin Brown if he does end up getting uh, that job year two. If Mikhail McCord stays, obviously that makes things a little trickier, but it's very difficult for us to predict that now. I think you just take the talent. You hope that that the situation works out how it needs to and what the transfer portal will, uh, what it is nowadays. We can send him somewhere else maybe if it looks like he's not going to grab that job after year one. So Devin Brown, guys, he's our quarterback nine here at Campus to Canton. Um, We'll see if he stays there or not. I know some people are kind of still watching through senior year, and he improved a ton his senior year in high school. I think that's a great, great thing there. So, guys, I think Devin Brown, if you're drafting, is probably going to go somewhere in the first two rounds of freshman supplemental drafts, depending on what that player pool is looking like. I think if you're doing a startup this offseason, he probably goes in a similar range as Jackson Dart, Ty Thompson, Drake May, uh, kind of that second-ish tier of quarterback uh, when in last year. He is a tier one quarterback for me. I think he has potential QB1 upside, uh, depending on how he develops. Uh, and I do really, really recommend um, if he falls to you in your drafts this offseason, you go snag Devin Brown. You're fine with him sitting for uh, a year here. And then you get all of that really nice Ohio State production uh, and hopefully that nice draft capital as well.